Welcome to this yin yoga class. Let's begin in a butterfly forward fold. Extend your legs out in front of you. Soles of the feet come together to touch. And your heels can be as far out or as close in to your groin as you'd like. Choose what feels best for you today. You can sit up on a bolster or a block or a folded blanket if that is more comfortable for your lower back. Your arms are soft and hands can be laying on the ground. Tilting your pelvis forward, folding over your legs. Let the weight of your arms slowly draw your body further into the fold until you find your edge and then allow the spine to round. When your mind begins to wander, always try to come back to your breath, focusing on the sensation of the inhale and the exhale. Deepen your breath, turning your palms face down and very gently press yourself back up. Your head is the very last thing to come up. Maybe use your hands to press your knees back up, 
take a moment here, maybe round into yourself, hug your knees, to take a breath and a moment. Notice how you're feeling after this pose. Making our way into deer pose. Align your right chin parallel with the top of the mat, so your knee is bending at 90 degrees and flexing the right foot. And the left chin is parallel to the sides of the mat. Both knees bent at 90 degrees, but if this is too much for you, you can always put the heels closer to the groin and lessen the angle. So it's less than 90 degrees, if that's more comfortable for you. So choose your position and from here you have two options. The first is to fold forward over the front thigh. This will take the stretch more into the right hip. And if you want to focus on internal hip rotation, think of pushing your left hip down while leaning back onto your hands. For most people this is very intense, so staying up should be more than enough. Take your time to adjust and find a position that works for you. We really don't have a lot of internal hip rotation in yoga, so this is one of the few poses that focus on this area to balance things out.
very slowly start to lift back up. Unwind the legs. Before coming to the second side, step the feet wide and let the knees fall from side to side. When you're ready, the left chin aligns parallel to the top of the mat, left knee in line with left hip, and the right chin parallel to the long side of the mat, right knee and hip in line, knees can be bent at 90 degrees or less, feet are flexed. Again, first option is to fold over your front thigh, and the second one is to lean back onto your hands pressing the right hip down into the ground. Make as many adjustments as you need here to get as comfortable as you can be in a position like this.
lift back up slowly come back release and then doing some windshield wiper motions again to release any kinks from the low back and the hips Next we'll come into a figure four stretch, so please lie on your back. Knees are bent with your feet flat on the ground. And then cross your right ankle over your left knee. Right foot is flexed. If you feel a stretch in your right hip here, stay in this first option. Otherwise you can reach through with your arms, pulling your left knee in towards your chest. So there's a little bit of engagement in the arms required here, but really try to relax everything else. Even the muscles around your eyes, your neck and jaw. You can imagine sending your breath down into your hip or wherever you feel the most sensation. Slow deep breaths in and out through the nose.
Release the left foot back to the floor and coming to the other side right away. This time you're crossing your left ankle over your right thigh. Left foot is flexed, maybe staying here if this is enough. Or reaching out with your arms to hold onto the thigh or the shin. Gently pull in towards you and relax the arms as much as possible. Let's release the right foot back down on the mat. Our final pose will be happy baby. As a first step, pull your knees into your chest and just rest here for a moment. You can widen the knees to your shoulders as the first option stretching into the inner groin 
and if you would like to go further into it, you can stack your ankles over the knees and either catch a hold of the big toes with your peace fingers or you can hold on to the outside of the feet, pulling gently down. Your arms will need to engage in this pose a little bit, but try not to engage any muscles in your legs as much as possible. We want to focus on the fascia and connective tissues and using muscular as effort would prevent that from happening. So no strain. Start to release the hold of the feet, maybe pull in the knees into your chest one last time. And then coming into Shavasana, extending both legs long. Your arms can rest by your sides. Take this time to completely relax and process the work that you've done. So this is where I will leave you. I encourage you to stay in Shavasana as long as time allows. And when you're ready, remember to do so mindfully. Pulling one knee and then the other into your chest. Rolling on to one side. And then pressing yourself up. Thank you so much for practicing with me. If you enjoyed this class, please remember to subscribe to my channel, like this video and share it with a friend. And don't forget to share your experience with me in the comments down below. Practice again with you soon. Namaste.